all right all right welcome back to the channel and yeah it's been a little bit of a while right um but yeah i'm back i want to show you uh, more things i've been very very busy with work now i have not been able to do much um content right and i bet you miss me so i'm going to entertain you uh today with the saturday with a little bit of blueprint all right and in this case it's going to be character blueprint but it's not going to be animation blueprint because i want things to be fast and easy and useful we are going to just tap into this guide right here so this guide right here is you know the city sample crowd and you're going to see that they're wonderful you can do magnificent extras out of these guys but they have a little bit of issues that I think that we can make much, much better. For example, once you drop it, you simply, you know, can click here in the uh, random options and it will create like a new version, um, a random version of this metahuman. And that is, you know, amazing, right? But what if we can make, um, like every time we drop him for him to be, you know, um, a random character. So let's do that very fast. So I'm going to select, you know, the original uh, crowd character and I'm going to duplicate it, all right? It's going to be the character two. Character one is the one that I already, you know, did a little bit of work that I'm going to showcase at the end. And let's work with this one right here. So if we want that option to be always on, when we drop him into the scene, it's, sim it's as simple as, you know, get into, um the character class and we go to the random options and we set it on we compile and we save and every time we drop uh, our metahuman inside our scene as an actor uh, our bp crowd you know character is going to be a new randomized character <clears throat> and that is you know very good but now you know, let's take a little bit of a look. So he does have a little bit of animation on his face, right? And on his eyes. Why should be he, you know, should he be like this, you know, in a, in a T pose? Like, how can I add an animation to this character? And I, I don't want to, you know, go through and make like a sequencer and drop the guy on the sequencer because I might want to have a lot of extras and I don't want to have a lot of tracks, you know, to keep... I want a thing that I could drop there and it's going to work either in editor and on play. So let's see what we can do. So let's go to the construction script <clears throat> and then we're going to work from here on. So the first thing that we're going to do is to change this guy um, animation mode, all right? All right, so that is going to be done by grabbing our skeletal mesh and we're going to set animation mode, this one right here. And by default, it's going to be the animation blueprint, All right? But with animation blueprint, we're not going to work with them. We're going to work with an animation asset right here from the blueprint of our character. Let me open up this completely so we know what we're doing. So there it is. This is the only thing. And I'm going to do it this way because maybe later on I'm going to have to use um, animation uh, blueprint. And in this case, I could, you know, create like a variable out of these and I could, you know, turn it on and off from the details and I could choose there. But this is, you know, the most useful way of doing it. Now, it's, now we know that this skeletal mesh is going to be waiting for an animation asset. So let's make that animation asset right here. So it's going to be set animation data, right? It's a variable. And now we can put this here. And if we want to tap into what type of animation we want for this character, we can right click, promote, uh, I mean, split struct pin. And now we have, you know, the insides of this pin where, you know, we have the animation. And we could go, you know, and search for one idle animation and place it here, but that is going to be boring in the sense that it's going to be, you know, one animation for 
all of our characters, we might want to do you know a, a be better job than that. So we are going to drag from here and we're going to hit uh, select, right? And the select utility is going to be exactly that. Now you can have, uh, you know, maybe an integer 64 that is going to be connected to a random integer 64 uh, in range. So re, it's going to be a random integer 64 in range. And now I can say, all right, I want five pins, all right? So from zero to five, and now my integer is going to run from zero to five. And now I can select five animations, six animations from here, and they're going to be um, idle. And sadly, um, these will not check, you know, what type of skeleton is connected. So it's going to show you all idols from, you know, um, all the skeletons that, that you have. I know for sure that it's this one, the F and T that is on the city sample crowd characters animations loco motion and yeah so we're going to get the a version and now we're going to be able to go to that animation very fast through here now i can select the v variable and select it as option one c variable the next option d variable the next option f variable the next option and maybe there is this idle base we can also add it here. So we have six different options for animations that are going to be already there to be used. Now I can save this and now I can go where this blueprint is and I can drop it in and there is no animation. So the pose is there, right? But she is not animating, all right? So why is that? that is fairly easy. There is this thing right here that is called enabling face update animation in editor. And what this function does is to have inside a function that is going to tell the face to allow it to um, set update animation in editor, meaning that you don't need to hit simulate or play. And all we need to do is to add our skeletal component to this function. Now we can compile and save now we have an animated character with an idol all right but it's going to be cool now you can you know plan your um scenes very fast so now i can take this and it's going to be a new uh, metahuman with a different so maybe they are talking here and we have another metahuman you know back there that is going to be looking that way and if there are all, all women and we want maybe a guy to be standing back there, we can go to the randomize options and we can run it, you know, a couple of times, a couple of times. So we do have, all right, we have a, a, a walking animation here. Like how did that happen? Uh, is this one? Oh yeah. Yeah, I have a walk animation in there. Ooh, all right, let me get it fixed. So I have my idol and the next idol. Oh, I only have this many idols, all right? Maybe I do have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to remove one of these, can I? remove option pin, that's right. So it's going to be from zero to four. That is going to be good. And now we're going to change this to the uh, base. All right, now it's cool, right? And it's going to be from zero to four and that's it, we can compile and we can save. And now we should have, there it is. So now you can plan out, you know, your, uh, shots with many humans that comes from this crowd uh, pack and they're going to be animated right there you know and when you hit simulate they're going to be also animated so let's give it a little bit of chance for this to simulate to show you there it is so in play they are simulating and if I hit stop, they keep simulating 
I mean, playing the animation. And I know, I think is a very simple. So let's hit Control Edit. So you can see that it is the most simple approach. You know, we set the animation mode. We set, you know, the animation, we create a select. So we have a, a, a menu, you know, of different, uh, a variety of different animations. And then we simply uh, create a random one and we turn on the random option on our uh, crowd character. That's it, it's that simple. And now you can do pretty nice things with this thing. Now, I want to leave you with, um, um, so this is what I planned, you know, for the next video. So tell me if you really want to know how to do this and I will show you because it is a real, you know, trick of magic and black, you know, this is, this is voodoo magic at its, its best. So I'm going to hide this girl right there. And now I'm going to, um, below the random randomized options, there is the walking options. And if I click there, we're going to have a uh, walking metahuman. And as soon as he is far enough, she's going to reset. And now another guy is with a bad hard hairdo. It's going to come out, out from behind that wall. And now when he's up, then another is going to come out. And if you want to know how to animate in construction script, uh, I, you know, subscribe and, you know, turn on your uh, little bell so you don't miss my next video. And I want to give a very, you know, warm shout to Ryan Schmidt because uh, I'm learning a lot with his channel. He happens to be one of the um, developers from Epic that is going through everything modeling and UV wise. So be sure to uh, go to his channel, subscribe and see a lot of this. I'm learning too much about everything modeling and scripting, you know, with the scripting geometry also, he is developing everything. So you're going to have uh, the best of the best information uh, with his channel, right? So this trick to animate something in construction script, I learned from him. So see you next time. And you know the drill, be good, love you all, and see you soon. Bye-bye.